in my next lecture for standard 10th subject is that geography and topic is that resource and development and sub topic is land resources and land use in india generally land resources is considered as resources because land is able to fulfill the human needs and requirement human beings utilize the land for their for their <coughs> habitation human beings utilize the land for transportation communication industrial exploitation agricultural activities and all economic activities perform on land resources only <coughs> so not only land resources is necessary now land resources is important for human habitation but it is, it also supports natural vegetation it supports wild life it supports human life it supports uh, ecological uh, areas ecology eco uh, eco balance it supports transportation economic activity transportation communication system in all of these systems are supported by land resources only so it is important now approximate if we observe the land utilization pattern of the country of the our country india so approximately 43% on in this country india where approximately 30% parts is covered by plain that 43% parts is covered by plain 30% parts is covered by mountain and 27% parts are covered by plateau already you understood that the plain which is more suitable for agricultural activity plain is more suitable for agricultural activity plain is also more suitable than uh, more suitable for all the transportational activities economical activities human habitations uh, rail, railways roadways transportation all of the human activities are settled on plain in the country in mountainous region where where very little population or no any population uh, live in this mountainous regions it is but it is suitable but it is eco tourism may be developed here and approximately 27% parts of our country is belongs to plateau region it already you understood that plateau is the store house of minerals and minerals are the base for industrial development so plateau regions is also important for the country like india where economic growth is very uh, low and um, the the standard of living of the people in this country are also very uh, low so uh, if we want to raise the economic activities in the country if we want to raise the human life a style of the human in this country so we should adopt the a manufacturing industry we should adopt the plateau region we should more and more apply of the uh, minerals that are found in plateau region so uh, land resources are uh, more essential more applicable for developing the nations so land resources is must and now factors is that land use pattern means in land resources in our country which are used in different purposes like in forest resources are used land resources are used land resources are so in different purposes if we utilize the land resources in a country so that is the uh, considered as the land use in the in land use for the nations of india so first we utilize the land resources for forest second land not available for cultivation means many um, <coughs> land many uh, parts of our earth where 
the fertility of land is it's not suitable to agriculture means that land where fertility is very below and gravels are found there so these uh, lands are termed as the barren land wasteland are those regions where uh, which is not suitable for agriculture second um, second is that land put on non agricultural uses means many <coughs> parts of land which are used for building which are used for construction of road which are used for factories that such type of um, uh, such type of uh, land masses land uh, uh, land which are not used in agricultural use agricultural system so we can use the land resources for this purpose also third is that other uncultivated land uncultivated land means the land which were uh, where uh, <coughs> where uh, agricultural activity is not performed by the people there so in this regard in this segment first is that permanent posture permanent posture means the the permanent posture where people lay uh, people uh, graze their cattle in permanent way in in mountainous parts of the country some regions are where graze where grazing land that is considered as a grazing land so that the many people or many communities of our mountainous communities of our country which uh, uh, communities who uh, grazing their cattle in the uh, in some regions that is not uh, that lands are uh, included in uncultivated land second is that land under miscellaneous trees means many uh, in our country where trees crops grow and these are these are found in our country and that are put on put in under the miscellaneous purposes and in this regard in this regions in this uh, system we not included net zone area net zone area means those areas where uh, where uh, where people are used for the uh, raising the crops second is that third is that cultural wasteland means in this regions in this um, um, in this category uncultivated land more than 5 years means in the area where uh, more than 5 years no any agricultural crops can be grown that is can um, uh, uh, that is cultural uh, considered as a cultural wasteland next is that fallow land fallow land means those areas which where people where fertility is very little and they can use by the they can use by the uh, cropping of different crops um, cropping of land but one or less than one years before no any crops can grow that are considered as current fallow land and other than current fallow land means the areas where more than 5 or more than 5 years years no any crops can grow so these are considered as the fallow land fallow land hindi meaning of fallow land means parti bhumi and next is that net zone area net zone area where more than once or an agricultural year means <clears throat> more than one or one um, uh, and above than one year uh, um, uh, people use the land for the cropping for the cultivation for the agricultural purposes so these areas where in in the year two crops three crops can grown by the farmers by the people these are some uh, considered as the net zone area and this land net zone area is also considered as the also termed as the gross cropped areas so this is the last <coughs> this is the last for this resource development and land resources and land use thank you very much